Welcome to another episode of the Pat Down. I don't even know why the fuck I have to say welcome. You know you're watching the Pat Down, right? And I'm here with Chris and Dion. And what we talking about today? Uh, you had a you had a bad week. I had a bad week with uh, pet smart pussy and uh, fake heart attacks and burping and shit. Just stay tuned after the music. I don't know what the fuck Dion with. Did his parole officer show up and come get him? <laughs> Can you please stop dissing the peer, nigga? Y'all make sure, um, uh, listen to, stay tuned to After the Music, and you're going to learn a lot of shit that went down in my life this week, y'all. First, I got to give a shout out to New York. How was, New, how was New York City? You extra white and I'm dull. So something going on here. Hold on. And she's dull. <laughs> you see that light trying to come through? Yeah, yeah. All right. That's a lot better. Let me go here. So first of all, I got to give a shout out to New York. Thank you, New York, for coming out. We had a wonderful fucking time. This week we'll be at Milwaukee at the Milwaukee Improv. So please come out and see us. So I just want, I like to say thank you to the last city that I just left. So I want to start making sure. Hey, thank you, Erica, with your crazy ass. She called herself Miss Pat number one bull digger. I don't call her that. <laughs> she wear a t-shirt that say that shit. And I'm like, I'm not going to call you a bull digger. I'm not getting canceled. But yesterday, she pulled up a shirt. I'm your number one bulldogger. I'm like, okay. Like, I, I didn't even know that was a bad word till last week when I decided to Google it. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> she should not be saying that this last three years. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> let me say this to you. It's, my daughter said it's like calling um, calling Black people the N-word. So I didn't know it either. So, But, you know, my old people say bulldogger. Like, you know, old white people say nigga. You know, some people just can't go out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> old people say all the bad words, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> we just had Christmas. We all know. <laughs> uh, no, you know, nigga. They don't do that at my house. No, so, they do. Yeah, I've heard more cursing at your house than my family combined in all of eternity. <laughs> One Thanksgiving beats all my Thanksgiving. Well, that's right, because we do it all year long. We don't wait to get together, and then we have that shit. But I got to tell you about my weekend. So, you know, I ended up in the emergency room, right? No, what? Yes. What so happened? I go and I do this, vi I do this video shoot. For V103, not video, uh, I'm sorry, uh, photo shoot for V103. So as I'm leaving, my chest is hurting. And I know something is going on in my body. Like, literally, I'm still going to go back. I ended up, you know, I, let me tell the whole story first. So my chest is hurting. I'm like, okay, let me stop at a fucking urgent care. And so I go to the urgent care and I say, my chest is hurting. So when you say your chest hurt, they got to get you to the back. They immediately give me an EKG and it's abnormal. So, y'all, this is my third or fourth fucking EKG that's keep coming back abnormal. And so the lady said, well, I'm a little worried about you. I really think you should go over to the hospital because we can't really treat if something seriously going on with you here. So I said, okay. And she said, I think I should put you in the ambulance. Mm. Ambulance or ambulance, whatever you call it. <laughs> And the thing with the you white better get truck. that right. You better understand that word just in case you need to call for one. <laughs> I need an ambulance. That's where they send you Bambi with a red light on her head. <laughs> Dion, what is wrong with your picture today? You look like a ghost. Are you in heaven? Because because this hotel has no fucking lighting. That's why. Yeah, you just should show the background. It ain't like your room is dirty anyway. <laughs> this nigga disappeared. So you look fine, Dion. I All right, so let me finish telling you. All right, so back to the group. They call 911. They put me in an ambulance. And uh, I go over to the emergency room, right? And um, so I get over. And I'm riding in the ambulance, right? It's a young lady and a, a, a young man. <laughs> and yeah, Chris, Who can I'm tell not fucking lying. I'm not lying. I get in the ambulance and a lady sat down. And she sat down. And all her pussy come up through her pants. Her pussy 
stank so bad. How bad was and, it? Oh, <laughs> it smelled like pet smart. <laughs> I never smelled a pet smart pussy in my life. And I'm like, wait a fucking minute. I know the Amalam bitch ain't got no stinking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so she, I'm not. Like, she said, are you hard of breathing? I'm like, no, bitch. <laughs> yeah, because you're stinky ass pussy. <laughs> She's got a mask on her face. She needs one for her pussy. <laughs> I, I've never smelled pussy that smelled like pet smart. Fishy, piranha pussy, donkey pussy, but never pet smart. You ever walk in pet smart? That's exactly what her pussy smelled like. And I was like, did she fuck her dog before she came to work? And so you know, I'm I'm really? like, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I've never really? I've never smelled yeah, someone's pussy before. <laughs> oh and she wasn't fat. She was not fucking fat. So it's nothing, you know your pussy state when you sit on it and it just poop. That pussy is on fire. When you sit on your pussy and it let off like a candle. Like a burning candle. And I'm uh, laying there and she said, like, are you okay? And I was like, should I tell this lady her pussy stank? Yes. <laughs> and she's like, I need to give you another EKG. I'm like, it ain't gonna be normal. <laughs> ain't gonna be normal. <laughs> <laughs> Not with your pussy. So oh, does, my does, it, does it come with the free dish? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it was so bad, Chris. I almost went... I, I've never held my peace. And the only reason I held it because the bitch had to give me an IV. And, you know, she was really nice. But I was like, lady, there's no way you don't know your pussy don't stay. I know it was my pussy because I had just came from a photo shoot and I washed my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to see the fumes in the photographs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. <laughs> she had fruit. She stanked up the back of that ambulance. And then the man come and you can tell when somebody smells. So I said, I think he think I'm I'm a fucking having a heart attack and my pussy stank. It was fucking horrible. That is so, so she bad. Rolls, she rolled me in the ambulance. I mean, she rolled me into the hospital. And these COVID is so bad there here in Atlanta. They immediately put me in the waiting room. I'm like, I thought I was supposed to be special. So I'm in a waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a waiting room, and this one Jamaican or African lady showing her ass. She, literally, she's on the phone talking to somebody. Ah! Nah, 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 speaking African and shit. And I'm like, this bitch is so faking. Because after she do all of that screaming and security come over and tell her shit the fuck up, she talk normal to whoever the fuck she on the phone to in Africa. And then she just start that screaming. And I was like, how long she been here screaming? They're like, oh, seven hours. Bitch, well, that's why she's fucking home. screaming. <laughs> <laughs> because she was used to health care in her home country. She comes here, she can't get any. At least she can see the doctor, you know. Who knows what the, do you know, it's like there, but it's got to be better than seven hours. I was there from, I got there at three. I left 2.30 in the morning. It, every, no, let me tell 3 you. 3 p.m.? A.m. in the morning. I got there at 3 p.m. in the evening, left there at 2.30, 3 o'clock a.m. Good grief. So, I was in there in the emergency room, right? And I'm not lying. I was in Kennesaw, the white neighborhood. Y'all, it was so many people coming in there with COVID. I mean, they were uh, shaking the shit. It looked like the living dead in this motherfucking emergency room. And so the lady who was shaking me, she said, are you vaccinated? And he was like, no. She said, sit over there. <laughs> I said, God damn. Yeah, they, they don't they're... give a fuck about you if you ain't vaccinated. Yeah. Healthcare so, no, workers then, are over it. So Quisha come up and my friend Tracy come up and we stand outside of Kennesaw Hospital, which is a really nice hospital. And nickel, you ain't gonna believe this. They had regular roaches outside, like roaches that be in your house. They were just crawling <laughs> outside. And I'm like, what the fuck are these regular roaches doing outside? Oh, they got evicted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they had COVID or what, or they wasn't vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> but it was all out fucking side. I was like, I'm having a horrible fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the you uh, the, at the top of my list would be an ambulance for a heart issue. I'd be freaking out over that. You're like, 
I smelled pussy, and then I saw a cockroach. No. What a fucked up taste. No, bro. not a cockroach. No, regular roach. Them little brown German roaches that be in dirty people's houses. That roach. He don't even live outside. He can't. He don't supposed to survive outside. <laughs> We just outside and they just crawling around like they had a mall or some shit. Like they waiting to see the doctor. I don't fucking know. <laughs> so are like you they okay? They got dropped off in the ambulance. Was, uh, they were the pet smart roaches. <laughs> I was talking yesterday to Reagan how I was worried about, about your heart issues. And now I'm even more concerned. Are you okay? So I wait 10 hours. It's because of black lady like, look, girl, don't leave the hospital. Because a lot of time we leave and we drop dead. And I say, uh, I ain't going nowhere. So I stayed there the whole time. And so they, they give me an x-ray. They give me they give me an EKG. It's still a little abnormal. So I see the doctor. He said, ma'am, uh, he said, I need to ask you something. He said, you ever had a problem with acid reflux? And I was like, oh, my fucking God. I stopped taking my medicine. So what 10 medicine? hours, and I was diagnosed with acid reflux. Because <laughs> <laughs> you ate some fucked up chips or... Too many hot pockets uh, or what? When I was at the set, they had these uh, spicy, uh, I don't want to say it was wean, I think like buffalo cauliflower or something, and they were so fucking good. But boy, they <laughs> burnt my goddamn chest. You and can't I was eat spicy out. food. We know she knows it. that. She yes. knows that, but she yeah. don't give a fuck. Every time I've seen you probably three, four times in person in the last year, and half of those times you've eaten spicy food and then gone, Oh, I can't handle this. I've got to she stop go, eating this. I, oh, I'm gonna throw I can't up. eat that. It's sit on top of my stomach. <laughs> oh, so the man was like, uh, ma'am, you have acid reflux. He said, but just to be on the safe side, we still gonna see you to a cardiology because you've been complaining about this. And so I said, what's the name of the medication? He said, Oped or some shit like that. And I'm not lying. So ever since I had the weight loss surgery, I've, no, I've some, some people have different symptoms and mine is acid reflux. Well, you know, niggas start feeling good. They start taking their fucking medicine. Well, I ain't took their medicine eight months, but I got like 30 bottles back there because I get a refill every fucking month. <laughs> yeah. And he give me another prescription. I come home, pop the pill. Everything feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> like no heart issues whatsoever. Like you don't. No, and then I go to New York this weekend, eat something spicy, and mm. burns my fucking chest. So I took my pill today, so I'm fine. So, but I'm still going to the doctor, you know, because I mean, you're gonna be yeah. the only nigga in heaven there because she ate spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody dying does scare the shit out of me, so I had you to didn't even up. wait 24 hours between <laughs> 10 hour hospitalization and another spicy food. What are you doing? <laughs> you know. Sometimes I forget, right? I literally forget. And then I feel, oh, shit. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> I get it. Because the older you get, you 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 still in your mind are like 22. And so you think you can eat anything. I was, eat, I was eating so many pizza rolls yesterday. And then last night before bed, I'm like, why is my stomach? Hurt? Oh, it's because you ate pizza rolls and you're not 14 anymore. You can't eat what you can't eat. But your brain doesn't know that. It doesn't tell you that message. Your new wife don't cook. She's feeding you fucking pizza roll. Oven food. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> him and the kid. <laughs> I think that's one of Miss Pat's top. Do you have jokes. a color in place, Matt, too? <laughs> I've got one with the world, so I can see all the <laughs> countries. Learn my geography. Oh my, oh my God, your new wife can't cook. She can. I we were we were somewhere else where someone else made pizza rolls. You it was lying. a it was a it was a party. So every you know, of course you have pizza rolls. But my point being, your body can't handle things the older you get. Your body ain't gonna be able to handle too much of that box food. All that sodium. Look, I didn't we end up in a up. hospital, okay? Yeah. No, don't we, talk we, shit we, about we, my stomach. My stomach handled it. I didn't have acid reflux. No, we're Let's gonna, talk about we're your come, stomach. Your tiny little stomach. Podcast <laughs> one day, bitch, you're going to be green in the face. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Oh, crab rangoons. <laughs> oh, I love crab rangoons. <laughs> oh, that shit tears me up. What? Nothing tears me up. I wish something would tear my fucking bowels up. You know what tears me up? Water. If I drink water, oh my God, I shit a brick. <laughs> Cause your body's back to what? Like, oh, finally, he's healthy. Yeah, so I've been drinking water. I'm trying to uh, shed a few pounds before we uh, 
uh, start uh, season two. So I got to get myself together because, boy, I'm telling you, that acid reflux be just yanking on my chest and my foot. And then I got these little things, these little two knots, right? I'm paranoid about them because I feel like one of my collarbone is bigger than the other one. They keep on telling me I got arthritis in the neck and now my neck gets stiff and shit. And I was like, maybe I do got arthritis. It suck getting old. Yeah, yeah that's, your, that's, your, that's your wire neck acting up right there. <laughs> 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 May pop, here you come. <laughs> you about to be tick, 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 ticking all over the place. <laughs> Second season rolls around. What's the, look at the actress's head. <laughs> yeah, we want to hold. They're gonna prop my head up. And my neck just have have off. a PA with a broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. I'm Get one of those like boom cranes to hold your neck up with a. <laughs> Rotate. <laughs> my fucking neck be hurting and i'm like do i need a massage and i fucking hate massages like no lie one time i think i told you guys that i went and did a massage with jordan yeah i, I don't, oh, don't remember this no oh my god so he's called this he's like miss pat you gotta have a massage you and i think the worst thing you can do is get a massage with a gay man because they don't know the difference between a woman's body and a man body and so I get there and he's this little bitty person is there to massage me. And I'm like, what the fuck is he going to do? And I had to take my bra off and lay on my titties, which was very fucking uncomfortable because my yeah. titties are real and they don't just fucking slide into other places. <laughs> All these women's oh. Lego titties. <laughs> oh my God. When I tell you this man beat the dog shit out of me. And I look over there at Jordan. This nigga is knocked out in his drawers. And I'm like, how the fuck can you go to sleep with this man over there walking all on your head and shit? <laughs> it was the most, I hate massage. It was the most painful shit I ever, this little dude beat the dog shit out of me. I the only mean, thing I, would have been better if he had sound bowls. <laughs> 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 like that bitch from the cabin. <laughs> Is you cooking bacon? <laughs> but you know what? That shit really worked. My vagina vibrated that whole scene. So that told me that that thing really worked. <laughs> so you, have you only had one massage in yeah, your life? only had one. Mm -hmm. See, the first like one to three is uncomfortable because you're not used to being touched like that. But the more you get, the more you you will have a masseuse on staff in five years just following you around if you did it more. I guarantee it. They're great. Not the one I had. He was abusive. It was like rough sex, but he didn't put it in. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Dion. <laughs> no, because that would have been that would have been rape. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, that, oh I'm sorry. He wasn't making I fun of me. you. He was protecting your you honor. Saying, I thought you were saying I was unfuckable. So no. I, I need to I need to check my report card. You got still four fuckable. kids and two ghostesses. Somebody's yeah. fucking you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you look really good. Like you've lost a bunch of weight. How much weight did you lose in 2021? No, Chris. Why are you telling white lies? Are you kidding? No, you've definitely lost weight. Like all these pictures that fans post in the group of, you know, in New York. Like she no, really Chris. looks like she's I'm lost a, a lot. Fat of ass. I feel like a fat ass and my drawers in the front get real wet from sweating. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, see, that's when you became unfuckable right there. That was rewind the tape 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Dion, how dare you imply she's unfuckable? <laughs> when you fat, your drawers get wet in the front because you got the stomach on them. Sometimes I feel like I'm a boy and I wet my draw. You know, I didn't shake it off. <laughs> oh, God. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Pussy McGee over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you think that ambulance driver was in the back with her? And like, how do I tell this patient her pussy stinks? <laughs> That was not my pussy. I, first of all, I'm black, so I would never have a pet smart pussy because I don't go in pet smart. Oh, and I got to tell you what it's All I can me. hear is the pet smart birds in the back. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got to tell y'all this right here too. So so I'm at the Delta Lounge, right? And um, I, I'm not paying attention. And I think I was getting ready to go meet you, Dion. And I yeah, I'll go in the Delta Lounge and take a piss. Not paying attention, looking down at my phone and walked in the men's bathroom. 
all I saw was assortments of dicks. And I was like, ah! <laughs> No, you no. There's no dicks out. It's not like the YMCA gym room. No, they was all pissing. And when I walked in, I was on the phone, and I think they realized I was a woman, and they turned around. I was like, "What the fuck?" And, I <laughs> that, and the man was like, "I was wondering where you was going. I think he thought I was like a transgender or something." Yeah, and they so they I, turned around because they thought Sam Elliott was in there with that deep <laughs> voice of yours. <laughs> fuck you, Chris. I was screaming. <laughs> I was sounding like a girl. Ah! Get, a, get, a self, get a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> so I see all these white and black dicks and shit when they turn around to see me screaming. You know, because one man was shaking it off. I was like, what the fuck? And I looked, I got a good little bit in there by the urine before I looked up and realized I was in the fucking man bathroom. You peed your pants? No. I, I let some loose, but I went over there into the women's bathroom <laughs> and I pissed. The she drizzled women. her pants. <laughs> <laughs> so oh I had God. a rough week. You really, really did. You, t- you, you, you didn't tell him about that that <laughs> that raccoon face lady you kicked out. Oh my God. So if you was at the Sunday show, right? Uh, the Saturday, right? second show. If, second show Saturday. If you was at that show, uh, so Dion come on stage and I hear Dion say I try everything to make you laugh but it didn't work out and I didn't know who the fuck Dion was talking to so I go on and this lady was literally on her phone the whole time which is very disrespectful to the comedian you know go outside and take your phone call you know that you just this a live fucking show so I said ma'am can you please put up your phone I said I would never come to your cash register and hold up your line by being on my phone and so the crowd started to laugh and then I said, um, I said, put your phone up. She said, I am in the middle of doing a tribute to my granddaddy. I said, where he at? She said, he did. I said, did he die today? She said, no, he been dead. I said, well, bitch, he was dead before he got here. Do that tribute before you get here or after you leave. Because either way it go, he's still going to be dead. <laughs> oh, Chris, this bitch went out. She's like, fuck you and your shoes are ugly. I said, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are you in middle school like what an insult that is <laughs> she said i said this you ugly bitch these are stella mccartney and the reason why i wear them because ugly bitches like you cannot afford them they cost a thousand dollars but i'm always keep it real i got these at national rent for four hundred dollars <laughs> so by this time i said put your fucking phone she said now that you said that i'm gonna take my phone i said i have tried to be nice to you and i, I never want to disrespect a white or a black woman but bitch you gotta go <laughs> she stood up right and said she'll whoop my ass. I said, I'm gonna let you hit me first so you don't sue me, but I'm gonna dog walk you in that chihuahua coat the fuck up out of here. <laughs> I said, I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass if you put your hand on me. You mother for your ponytail looking like a soft dick. Uh the bitch looked like Aaron Spears with them raccoon eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the comedian Aaron Spears. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what Cora Hokum say about Aaron Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up Aerie Spears because that's a very uh <laughs> mid 2000s reference. Oh my god, and, and I'm telling you, I had such a horrible fucking week from the hospital to raccoon eyes to stinking pussy to everything was happening to me this week. Oh, that's sad. And then I go and I get on the plane, so I go to get on the plane and I'm drinking my coffee right. And this Delta flight attendant, I'm going to have to call, no, the guy, the, the gate, put his hand over the thing and say, I'm not letting you check in until you put your mask on. I said, sir, I'm drinking coffee. Put your mask on! I said, you know what? I'm calling Delta on you because I'm Diamond Plus and we do not argue with the hell. <laughs> and she, I turned into, she turned into one of Joe Rogan's doctors. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I always laugh when you post to the group like you need some help and you uh you posted you needed Delta customer services phone number using the group as a Google and everybody was like, Oh, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> he was just screaming at me and I said, I'm not gonna argue with you, sir. I got to get to New York. I'm not going to argue with you. But I was literally taking a sip when he asked, put your, I said, I fly every week. I'm going to put my fucking mask on. 
you having a, a, a bad fat bitch day. Cause he looked like a fat bitch. He had them hips that looked like he bared kids, but he was a boy. <laughs> he was a big booty. <laughs> the, the English in that sense. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he was a big booty nigga. That's what he was. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean too. <laughs> so I mean, I, it, was, it was it was rough for me. It, you know, the new year. I'm just glad I made it. I tell you, it was rough. Yeah, it sounds like it. So, are you, you gonna go follow up on the heart stuff though? Just because you have acid reflux. Yeah, I go again out. in January. I do. I'm going. I'm going all the way. I want them to watch your sound. I want them to tell me everything what the fuck is going on with me. But, it, you know, I take my acid reflux pill. I feel a lot better. Yeah. Man. Are you going to stop eating do- spicy food? <laughs> oh, my God. You just probably had spicy pickles or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Flaming hot tamale candy with Frito Lays. Oh, no, I- <laughs> right right no. on her lap right now. No, because time I eat shit, and if it's spicy, it goes straight to my chest. Oh, I'm about to die. You know, <laughs> she just sound like Red Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> 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 so I, I just. That was I pretty got, damn good, Chris. Thank you. Uh, Chris is an undercover actress. Yes. <laughs> no. Well, actress is a girl. I know. I was, I was playing along. Oh, I he thought was, you did. He was know. acting. Oh, <laughs> first rule of comedy is yes and, right? <laughs> yes, and I was the security guard undercover. Ha ha. So, what did you get for Christmas, Chris? Pussy. Oh, me... Yeah, I'm really. <laughs> Wait a minute. Got... She already done cut it off. You only been married two weeks. That's supposed to happen in three years. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, that's why she keeps asking for a three year anniversary gift. Um, no, I got uh, I got a you know one of those flat top grills, you know the the griddle that you can mm-hmm. you can make like all kinds of different food on. That's what I got. Pancakes, mm-hmm. pancakes. We made fajitas, smash burgers. Look at the smash head. burger. It's like the it's like steak and shake, like the crispy little burger that's smashed down. Tasty. You come over, I'll make it for you. You'll love it. You have a cat that walk around with his asshole showing at all times. I, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> You've been to my house one time. No, many, and I, I, I twice. You hated it. Cat. You hated it. You yelled I'm at my cat. That cat don't have ain't farting in your face right now. I'm not coming to your house to eat. Called my cat the N word. Yeah, he's a nigga. He keep his ass <laughs> up in the air. Is that a boy or girl? Uh, two girls. He the one cat is two girls. No. <laughs> yes, it's uh <laughs> it was born with two vaginas. <laughs> this is the double pussy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you one of them white people that go out and adopt handicapped animals? <laughs> I'm here for the cat with the double pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we got one with an extra toe, I'll double. take it. <laughs> <laughs> so my my agent Megan uh told me the funniest dog adoption story. Oh nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga. <laughs> 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 yes, nigga, they tricked Uh-oh. the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> she went to go adopt this cute little puppy, right? <laughs> and they had a bow tie on him. He was so fucking cute. <laughs> when she got there, this nigga, I was missing. <laughs> oh, they got that dog from Wish, nigga. <laughs> they pho- they photoshopped the dog picture. No, oh. it was just a really ass old fucking picture. <laughs> oh, the catfish. <laughs> oh shit, nigga, that dog. <laughs> that dog showed up looking like it got laid off, nigga. <laughs> Oh, I said, bitch, I'd have gave that ugly ass dog back. Yeah, I was gone. And she said, we forgot to tell you he lost the hat. <laughs> this is not the nigga I put papers on. She paid for it before she saw the dog. 
<laughs> no, they showed a picture. He had on a bow tie. They had him posing. He was a cute little thing. Man, he, that dog looked so good <laughs> in that picture, Chris. But the <laughs> nigga that showed up. Oh my God. He looked like he just lost his family. He got fired <laughs> from his job. He was in a car accident. His eye was gone. This nigga's fur was he, falling out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he had like dog teal just running out the eye because they had to take the eye <laughs> all out. <laughs> Megan said she she when she first saw him, she was like, this can't be my dog. <laughs> So what did she do? She cussed him because she felt she, bad. I said, why didn't you tell the nigga you want the dog in the picture? Oh, can I show the pic? Can I show the dog? You got it? I got a picture, yeah. How you oh. get it? Who is that? <laughs> Instagram. Oh, oh yeah. He's so ugly. He I think he looks <laughs> better right there. No, she cleaned, she cleaned him up. No, that's not what he looked like in the picture that when the, when she first got him. Oh my God. I'm gonna ask her to send me those pictures. Uh, send me his before and after picture. Look at that. That's, you see? <laughs> <laughs> that's what she picked up him, but that's not the first picture she showed me. Oh, I hollered. Oh, that I, shit was so funny. I said, Megan, how the fuck did they catfish you with a dog? <laughs> I would have said, I, I'm not taking him home. I'm not taking him home. <laughs> <laughs> that dog came out that weight room. You hear me? <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at the first picture of him. She fo- got his good side. <laughs> the head turned. <laughs> you could not trust them pet agencies, boy. They don't give a fuck. They want them they dogs gone. They don't tell you the motherfucker been in abusive relationships. You just show up and they, they tell what they do is they 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 photoshop the dog and then when you get there this motherfucker crawling on the floor like a roach. No. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be honest. I think that dog's cute. It's a good thing that she did. That dog needed love. She gave it love, but when that nigga first came out the back, I'd have been like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Then I tell you, you look like a white person who adopt. Abuse animals. Yeah, you're right. No, I would. <laughs> I still have post traumatic Every... stress syndrome from your dog hanging at himself. You know, Miss Pat's come so long, so long and far in, in becoming friends with white people, but she's still disgusted with everything I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you, I'm just saying, don't. You know, my, my philosophy, and I say this on stage, why adopt a handicapped dog when you can go out and get a purse and get a social security check and a handicapped park ticket for that person? You don't get no parking ticket for no dog, no handicapped parking sticker. You don't get no social security check. You know, you just own your own. You, you, you can do a good deed without getting something out of it. <laughs> Look at her face. The scam in her is like, who this nigga talking to? <laughs> I ain't gonna go, I just, I mean, some people like rescue dogs or whatever you call them. Not me. I mean, I don't, I don't care for pets anyway because they, you know, they, they don't treat them the same. They cost too much. And you got to get them vaccinated, immunized, or immunization, whatever you call it. You got to get all of that shit now. Like human beings, you got to get them a gynecologist visit. They could no longer just go have a dog in the closet. You got to call 911. Yeah, you got to call 911 and put them in the ambulance and they got to get an IV and push like us now. So, no. No. Yeah. I I agree with you that the the, the dog thing has gone too far. They're not people. They're property. You own a dog. God damn. Why you say it like that, Chris? Because people... You don't need to spend ten thousand dollars to keep a dog alive. Just get a new dog. Yeah, you you call them property. They are. That gave that gave me slave master. Sorry, that, well, <laughs> dogs are not people. That's a, the difference in the statement, Dion. Yeah. What up, Junebug? What is she having a meeting? Hey, hey. I'm hey, how are you? What up, Chris? How are you? I'm good. The difference between yeah, your, the difference between your again? your two sons is that he didn't slide in. Hey, 
You got a microphone for me? <laughs> He's yeah. admiring the fact that you don't always want to be on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Nike. Now she muted us. Nike put himself in the uh, bio in the description. I don't. On the... You know, I'm not like Nike. I don't really care about all this. But I get on here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But she had me working all morning. You know how she do. She knows she's doing it. Yeah, <laughs> you you really are of the four kids. Like you are the least interested in her fame and her activities and her work. You don't want to like. You don't get. Because I've been selfies. I've been there since I was eight in the comedy yeah. club with her all the time. I'm new. To, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. That sounds like some drug dealing shit. Why my thing? Oh, there it is. It's better. So, yeah, I got Junebug here. In two weeks, me and my family will be officially moved. I was able to, I've been selling a lot of shit on Facebook Market Time. Really? Mm-hmm. Like, I sold like my the theater club. chairs. Mm, a piece of history is oh. gone. Oh, that's sad. Was it to a crack baby at least? You didn't save one for the Smithsonian? No, I did not. I saw the Smithsonian one on Facebook market time. They didn't come get them. (laughs) Um, I sold um, uh, sold a dinette set. I sold, I don't sold about the whole house. Wow. I'm gonna sell, I have a really nice refrigerator that I'm getting ready to sell, the kind that you knock on and it light up. Oh, cool. Wait. Like you knock on like a door? Yeah, my refrigerator. You never noticed it? No. Yeah, Samsung knew its hottest thing about a year or two ago. You knock on it, and then it lights up. So you can you see can what's see. in it, and you don't have to open mm-hmm. the door. Ah. Yeah, your refrigerator is really nice. <laughs> That's the dumbest invention ever, nigga. Just open the door. It saves electricity. Keeps the coof, coof. You don't need to be hanging out with the door open. And you might not. It might not be in there. So why not look in here? Without opening the door first. Protect oh, the environment, Oh, no, an Dion. extra step of opening the refrigerator and seeing I don't have what I was looking for. Oh, no. That's just bougie for no reason. Look at this poverty mindset person over here. I was about to say that. I was looking for the right word, but you was so fucking yep. right, white man. Thank <laughs> you. Fuck both y'all. Yeah. <laughs> bougie ass. <laughs> Killing the environment ass niggas. Light How am I killing the environment? I knocked that, on the door. It's still electricity. She's saving electricity. No, she's not. You, you that breathe. light bulb, that That's light bulb, the hot side to shine through that out. metal. The environment. Yeah, say that again, Miss Pat. That carbon dioxide, he over there fucking letting out, killing the fucking environment. I know you're not talking dragon breath with the acid reflux. <laughs> 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 Nigga, your breath hotter than me and Chris's put together. You, you shut should... up, you black bitch. <laughs> Did Ain't you get a credit? Did, bitches now. Did you get well, a you credit in Harry Potter you 3? Fold up like a presser fucking with me. Nigga, I'll call that pet smart pussy and have her put you in that car again. <laughs> <laughs> get you in the leg lock. Don't make, make me you get you know, raccoon Ari Spears eyes girl to <laughs> get them fleas from her coat and your wigs. <laughs> <laughs> She said that lady go have fleas. <laughs> bitch did have fleas. <laughs> my head. I was a not the day, bitch. I take up the wig. You think I play for somebody? I beat your motherfucking ass. You put your hands on me. I was mad too. I would let me tell you something. My chest get tight and boy, my pinky starts swinging and I can't stop it from swinging. I'm ready to fight. Chris, me and Jasmine was out there setting up the merchandise, and I see a uh, waitress come out. Where's security? And I'm like, Oh lord! Not again. <laughs> Jasmine's brand new to the organization too. It's time she got firsthand experience with what she's in. <laughs> Jasmine has some uh, packing tape, and <laughs> she goes, "I'm about ready to hit that bitch." She tries something. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll Bowers. Go. Bowers was showing me the fight videos in 2013, so I'm ready. I know what I know what I was in for, but. Poor Jasmine, she she might have to fight. She, did you tell her that, Miss Pat? Nah. <laughs> You're too famous to fight, and Dion and I can't, so it's got to be her. Uh, I speak for yourself, up, Chris. I would, <laughs> I would take off this wig and they'll think I'm not kill. So I just say, <laughs> not <kill> hitch. <laughs> You're not wearing Dollar Tree Doc Martens. The fuck is Doc Martin? 
He always wears those little like athletic shoes from the Dollar Tree when he walks into no, the security guard uniform. Yes, he does. Listen, he's. What? I'm, I'm trying they, to pick oh, a fight with him. Broke game boots. Yes. <laughs> Them don't come from no goddamn Dollar Tree, Chris. You don't got no alpha style and money, do you? Whose side are you on, me or your sons? My son, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Black people don't even wear Doc Marks. I'm like, I actually, I was thought you were talking about that black baby doll. What's her name? <laughs> Doc McStuffin. <laughs> <laughs> Doc McStuffin. <laughs> that's who I. That's who I thought you was talking about. The fuck are you talking about, Chris? No, the. Uh... Doc Martens are what those uh, goth girls wear. That's what they always look like. He was always got those big tall boots on. Those called uh, high tech boots. They used to back in the day when I was a drug dealer. It was very popular amongst us. High tech boots. Oh my god. Yeah, those are expensive. No shit, uh, Chris. You now put them on the screen for us to see. I can't because I this is a new computer. So now them supersonic shoes you be wearing, salsa. Those are, those are Brooks. No, I wear Brooks. You wear salsa too. Salsa is <laughs> S A U C O E and some shit. Saucony? What what are those? Yeah. What are those? Sacconi. Sacconi? Sac- no. Yeah, he be wearing them too. Sacconi jazzes. <laughs> it was popular <laughs> in sixth grade. <laughs> Yeah, he be wearing them bitches too, them soccer too, and you be wearing Brooks. And Brooks are a high quality shoe. They have me ready to flee a bear at any moment. Got the correct running balance in them. Wide feet. Chris, you are the bear. (laughs) So I've been into these snake videos, right? (laughs) And they just keep popping up on my phone because I watch one. And today I saw one that scared the shit out of me. It was a pathon, like this fucking lamp on them big ass. He was so goddamn big. He had this man in the headlock. Okay. And he was choking the shit out of this man. And I'm trying to figure out, nigga, how the fuck did you fall over there with them big ass snakes? What he, he, where was he? Uh they look like they was in another country because they didn't have on no shoes and they was they they was not scared of the path. They just jumped over in the water, unwrapped this nigga out the headlight and threw him over the wall and then threw the snakes over the wall. Let them I thought they was about to let them swim off. But my family was like, they're gonna eat the snakes. And I was like, I don't want to see you people eat this fucking big ass snakes. But that's enough meat to, to fill up anybody goddamn freezer. So what are these eat like snakes? Uh, uh yeah. Yeah. I mean poor countries, yeah. Sometimes you say shit, Chris. I'm like, uh I mean, I'm it hits with the honest. weight of your ancestors, bro. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> who who eats snakes? I, I mean, it, 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 people in, people in the southern hemisphere. Now I'm snakes. not allowed. I'm not allowed to say. Dion answers. <laughs> <laughs> Dion, who eats snakes? So my friend Chris don't sound racist. People in the snakes? southern hemisphere eat snakes. Where snakes so. are more readily available. Yeah. And, uh, anacondas the- are enough. Anacondas could feed a whole town. They're like a mile long. That's how long anacondas are. Didn't you know that? No. They're the second longest snakes. They're the heaviest snakes. No, I'm anacondas. Just, I'm making things up. The black dick, black man dick is the first one. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but honestly, do people eat snakes? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're there was, eat- I seen a video. I seen a video yesterday of a cow eating a snake in Australia. Yeah. Nigga just had a big ass snake hanging out his mouth like spaghetti noodles. I think Crocodile Dundee ate a snake, didn't he? In one of his I movies. I don't remember. That cow was munching on a fucking snake. They said I don't... they said the, the cows, when they don't have enough phosphorus in their diet, it, it like makes their brain go crazy or whatever. Oh, wow. And, and so 
this cow just had this big ass brown snake hanging out of his mouth, was chewing on that nigga. Ugh. Is that when they ran out of grass? I don't no, there was still grass in the, there was like a bunch of grass in the picture. And so I why think it, it, snakes? it was like the phosphorus, the snake had phosphorus, whatever phosphorus does for cows. It wasn't getting enough of it. And so it says when they don't get enough of it, what they is start phosphorus? to you want to tell it what phosphorus is. It's Chris? like a mineral like magnesium or calcium or yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. But how he know that snake that he had in his mouth had the phosphorus he needs. I don't know. That's what I that's why I was like I it's like when you're craving chocolate, your body's low on magnesium. You just, it's like your brain tells you what your body needs because it knows subconsciously. They say cows have been known to eat like the bones of dead animals or other animals when they die. They scavenge when they don't have enough of that chemical in their body. But it was a oh, big ass black cow. Snake just... soup has been considered a delicacy. A delicacy in a uh, China culture for over 2,000 years. Chinese they, people eat snakes? It, Chinese people eat anything. Louisiana too, maybe? I don't know why my brain's telling me Louisiana, but they seem like they eat everything. They eat alligator. Why wouldn't they eat snake? When I, Chinese I, people eat snake meat, eat snake meat, why? Because they, they are tasty. For one thing, we eat everything and we can always find the best combination for different dishes. Indonesia's for what the fuck? What do snake meat taste like and how does it cook? If you, if you <laughs> buy snake meat from a butcher online, you'll have a choice of python and rattlesnake. You can buy the raw meat either or uh, either as boneless. My boss don't cook it. Snake ain't got no bone, do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, they yeah. There's a shit ton of ribs. Yeah. Nigga, I'm not eating that shit. I make too much money to be eating that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, ate ga- I ate gator tail last month. See, in Florida. Still- so when I was a little girl, right, and my mom used to go to this place in Atlanta here called the Curve Market. They sold everything from the rooty to the tooty. And when we didn't have money, we would go out there and dig in the trash can because they would throw the day old bread out. So my mama bought some alligator legs. No, I'm sorry, some frog legs. She used to love frog. My mama loved anything that she could suck the meat out the bone because she ain't had no teeth. So she did a lot of sucking. <laughs> <laughs> that is sound right. You stupid Chris. Anything she could suck off the bone, Dion. <laughs> Do I got a bone for your mama? <laughs> 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 so one day she bought these frogs legs for the curl market and she fried them she got one pan of fish going some chicken going and the frog legs she's like we're gonna eat frog legs like we're gonna eat frog legs and i'm sitting there and i ain't never had frog legs nigga as she fried them bitches they started to look like they about to hop out the skillet uh-huh. and them hot it's like the more crispy they became the more they stood up and i'm like I can't eat it. This thing about to run out the fucking skillet. So I couldn't eat it. And my brothers, and they, they were sitting there eating. It tastes like chicken. But you know, black folk think everything tastes like chicken. I'm like, I can't do it. And you never tried it. it. I might have peached the people. I, it just, I know that it was frog and it was about to hop. It fucked with me. Mm. You, you, you have a, like an aversion to a lot of foods. It seems like. Like you, I didn't have like, a lot of food, Grace. Uh, I'm saying, like now, you seem very picky. Like, uh, would you consider yourself a picky eater? Yeah, it's shit I don't do anymore. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat hog malls. I'm not gonna eat chitlins. I'm not gonna eat. The, I'm not gonna eat no squirrel dick. I'm not gonna eat. Um, I ain't eat no squirrels. What about um, pet smart pussy? Yeah, would you have some of that? Why are we back to the pet smart would pussy? You munch, would you, would you eat the pet that? smart puss? I don't even eat puss. Deanna and I have, pet... trust me. Well, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we, we've you soldiered on, I'm sure, Dion, like I have. You want to eat some pet smart puss? She thinks this is unique. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all talking about? I'm lost. <laughs> every guy I don't know had, what the fuck Chris. Every is guy in about. Ashley knows exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, oh shit! God. Yeah, you disappeared, now. Dion, ja- Jasmine is calling me. Uh oh, what Miss Pat do? I don't know. 
Well, we we got to the Falcons kick off in three minutes. So oh yeah, yeah. So we got we got we got to wrap it up. Hey guys, uh, make sure y'all check us out this week in Milwaukee. This is my first week starting to. Hey, my first week on V103. Make sure you download the Odyssey app and listen to us because I'm gonna be rocking and rolling in the morning and in the evening shooting this podcast for y'all ass. Um, just make sure I got two dates before I go down for a while. It's Orlando and it's Milwaukee. Milwaukee's is next, next week, this week, and then we got Orlando. So make sure you get your tickets because I will be out the road for a while after that. I'm gonna miss you guys. I appreciate you. We out of here. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of The Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. Please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat.